Hello friends, welcome to another video. For today's video, I thought it'd be fun to share a 2023 reading reflection and go through my goals that I made at the beginning of last year because I made a whole video about that. Then I went to go through my 2024 goals because there's definitely some changes I would like to make this coming year. So let's just get into it with my 2023 goal recap. So my first goal was read 100 books. I definitely did this. I have read 220 at this point which that is an abnormal number I would say but I listen to a lot of audiobooks that's pretty much all I listen to I don't really listen to podcasts anymore and I don't really listen to music I mean I listen to music but not as much as I used to I am almost always listening to an audiobook so that's the main reason why that number is so high but I also just want to say hello disclaimer that any reading is good reading like as long as you're enjoying your time and enjoying what you're reading I think that is all that matters I think it is very easy to get caught up in the numbers game and and I have been guilty of doing that before so I know what it's like but I just want to say your worth is not tied to how many books you read and you're not considered any less of a reader if you read less books so now that that's out of the way yes I read 220 books so I did accomplish my goal and my next goal from 2023 was reduce my physical TBR to less than 100 I absolutely did not do this I did not even decrease my physical TBR at all I just added to it so yeah we'll talk about that in a sec my next goal was read five classics and i did not do this i don't really think i read any classics at all but that's another goal i have in 2024 and then i have read 10 nonfiction, and i definitely did do this when i'm listening to audiobooks i mainly listen to nonfiction, so i absolutely did do that and then borrow more books from the library and i definitely did do this both through libby and my actual physical library i borrowed quite a bit of books this year so i am happy that I completed that goal and so for a little reflection I feel like I am very happy with the books I read but I just want to work on a lot of things in my reading life if that makes sense so I'm just going to go into my 2024 goals because that will help explain more about it so my reading goals for 2024 are to read 150 books I feel like that is enough to where it's challenging like I might not get that but also like I said I read over 200 books this year so I still think it could be accomplished. My next goal is to focus on my physical TBR and I am so serious about this this year. I do not want to buy any books like at all this year unless it's a new release and I honestly don't really even want to borrow from the library that much because I just have so many books just sitting on my shelf and I really want to get to these books before I focus on anything else. So I do have a couple exceptions <laughs> like I will buy books if it's a special occasion like my birthday or if I have a gift card so if you see any book hauls in the new year just know that that is from gift cards or books that I bought later this year and I'm just going to put that all in a big book haul at the beginning of the year. I also have read five classics on my list to accomplish this year. I would really like to surpass this goal if I can but I don't know if that is going to be attainable. I mean I feel like I should because five books is only one every two months so that feels like I should be able to do that. I have bought two classics that I can start with The Great Gatsby and Little Woman and if you have any other recommendations for good places to start with classics definitely let me know because I am definitely looking for beginner friendly ones. I also have read 10 nonfiction books because I just love nonfiction books. I love educational ones. I love memoirs. I just love all of the things nonfiction has to offer. I find it so interesting and fascinating and it's almost like listening to a really long podcast but more in depth because these people are really going through studies and really analyzing and researching if it's like a non-fiction educational book and then if it's a memoir I just I don't know I just really like it there's just so many good non-fiction let me know if you'd like a non-fiction recommendations video because I would love to read that I've read so many memoirs and like self-helpy books and just general non-fiction and essay collections so I definitely feel like I would have some good recommendations for you guys I also have read more indie authors and I really want to do this through through reading on Kindle Unlimited but like I said I want to focus on my physical TBR so this is more of a low tier goal like if I'm in the mood to read something on my Kindle I'll try to pick from an indie author and so I know there's lots of great books by indie authors and Kindle Unlimited is a great way to explore them so I definitely want to take advantage of that and I love reading on my Kindle I think it is very beneficial and it helps me read a lot faster and read a lot of different books 
So I am excited to try to find some new to me authors. My next goal is to start a reading journal and to be consistent with it. And I am planning on making a video setting up my whole reading journal and I think this will be a really great outlet for me. I love journaling and it's just hard for me to stay consistent but I think having a reading journal where it's like a lot of fun pages and fun things to fill out, I feel like that would help keep me consistent with it. And I plan to do lots of fun little spreads and I am just very much looking forward to that. I think that video will be releasing maybe in the first or second week of January. I am not for sure but I have searched for lots of inspiration and gotten lots of inspiration so stay tuned for more updates on that. I mentioned this one earlier but no one buying new books unless it is a new release and even then I'm going to be pretty picky about the books I decide to get because like I think I'm just going to do Emily Henry's releases, Ali Hazelwood's releases, Abby Jimenez and I guess the, the list is longer because I also want to get Carly Fortune's new release and Sarah Adams' new release and The Grandest Game by Jennifer Lombard. So those are the ones that I am planning on getting like right when they come out. But other than that, I'm going to be very specific about even the new releases that I buy. So there's that and I don't think this will be too hard because like I said, I have so, 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 so many books and I've also been buying quite a bit of books like this month even. And so I have a very stacked physical TBR and I'm just shouting out all the future videos I'm going to make, but I'm going to make an updated entire physical TBR video because I think it will be very interesting to see how much it has grown because I know that since I last filmed my TBR video, it has grown significantly and I made that video back in October 2022 so it will be interesting to see <laughs> for sure so stay tuned for that as well. I also have stick to a monthly TBR and I want to do this because I think it will help keep me accountable to my physical TBR and I feel like I have been so bad at saying I'll read books and then I don't read them and then I don't read them for so long <laughs> after and so if I kind of plan out what I want or at least have a general plan like if I have a plan of books for potential moods I might get into I think that that will help me stick to my physical TBR as well and one thing I forgot to mention that I'm doing to reduce my physical TBR is I think I'm going to tag team it like if I'm listening to an audiobook it's going to be a book on my physical TBR so that way when I get home I can read that book physically too and so that way I'm not like having so many books on the go because I also feel like that depending on what type of books they are I feel like having so many books on the go like three or four books reduces my comprehension because I may get confused like is the situation that happened that I'm thinking about in this book or this book and usually it's easy to keep it separate if you're reading like a romance or fantasy and a nonfiction because those are vastly different but sometimes I still feel like things can get a little mixed up in your head especially as you keep reading. Another goal I have is to use Storygraph. I started using Storygraph at the beginning this year but completely fell off and then I tried to update it back in July but I didn't want to have it all say the same day because then my stats are like super inflated and so it was just way too time consuming to go back through and adjust the day tread and all that sort of stuff and so I want to use it consistently this year. The main reason I want to use it consistently is because the stats that Storygraph offers are so much better like I'll pull it up here and see if I can explain some of the stats they offer. Like you can track your reading goal, you can track your pages, it shows you the books you read and it shows you like the mood you read from the 78 books I have on here from when I was tracking. It says emotional is my highest, then reflective, funny, lighthearted, and hopeful. And then there's so much other ones like inspiring, informative, sad, mysterious, dark, challenging, adventurous, relaxing, and it says what pace you want, like fast, slow, medium. It shows the number of page numbers, like is it in the 300 to 490 99 pages range or is it under 300? It has fiction versus non-fiction stats and then it has genres. When I was tracking my top genre it was memoir, contemporary, romance, self-help, young adult, essays. And then it also has a pie graph for your format between digital, audio, and print 
it shows your most read authors. It also shows a little graph that shows how many books you read in each month and how many pages you read in each month. And it also shows your star ratings on a bar graph and shows your average rating. There's just lots of great things on star graph. I still think I'll use Goodreads just because a lot of people I know use that and I want to see their stats as well. My next goal might sound a little weird because it is to read more popular books. I feel like I have really focused on finding maybe underrated books these past couple years and I really have wanted to read more of the popular books that are maybe more popular from book talk because I feel like I am missing out when people get really excited about these books and people say it's like their favorite and so my goal is to really make a dent in the popular book realm and here's some examples of popular books I haven't read. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, Archer's Voice, Love and Other Words, Book Lovers and Happy Place by Emily Henry, all of Ali Hazelwood's releases except The Love Hypothesis, Catherine Center's releases, Lauren Asher's releases, Magnolia Parks, Crescent City. There's just so many books that sound amazing that I have not read because I've been scared of the hype or I've not wanted to give in to the pressure but I think I do want to give in to the pressure and I want to see why people are so obsessed with these books because a lot of these books have those high ratings and are hyped for a reason and so I want to see my opinions on them as well. So I will be making some videos in the new year of me reading popular book talk books and all that sort of stuff but I will still be trying to read some underrated gems as well. My goal was actually read a good mix of popular books and underrated books so that's the main goal but I do think I'll be working on reading quite a bit of popular books and I also want to read popular books like as they're released so I can get excited with everyone else and then my last goal is to be a more active reader and this just means like annotating, making notes about the book, like thinking about the books. I watched Jack Edwards video and he was just talking about how you can be a more active reader and he was saying like oh you can think about is the author accomplishing what they're doing and all that sort of stuff. So that is another big goal I have is to really try to take in what I'm reading. Sometimes I feel like I'm not the best at taking in what I'm reading. I mean most of the time I am but sometimes I just am not and I think annotating really helps with that and throughout this month I have been better about taking notes on my phone of specific thoughts I have with books. I mean I think it's pretty well known that sometimes books go in one ear and out the other and I just really want to be better at actually remembering the books I read so I can fully talk about them and fully remember them and I feel like that will also cause less need for rereads if I can remember them a lot better but obviously rereads have their time and place as well. Like there are some books that I am planning to reread this year because the last time I read them was like nine or ten years ago for some of them. Like I'm planning on rereading The Mortal Instruments and The Infernal Devices because I read those like ten years ago and I want to read both of those so I can move on to The Dark Artifices and The Last Hours trilogies and then Cassandra Clare's Last Shadow Hunters trilogy, The Wicked Powers, is also coming out eventually. She hasn't said any release dates yet but those are just examples of books that I would read reread <laughs> and those are actually on my list to reread this year so that is another thing and another goal I have is to not feel guilty for rereading like if there's books that you really love and you want to reread them and annotate them I feel like that is a good thing and I also feel like it can keep the love of reading alive to remember why you fell in love with reading in the first place like it's because of amazing books like for me betrayed and like that's <laughs> the one I always go to and I think of like a book that really made me remember why I fell in love with reading so I plan to reread the two Emily Henry books I've read so far which are Betrayed and People We Meet on Vacation and I also plan on rereading some fantasy books I read when I was younger but I never finished the series but those are some of my reread plans. I will probably share more of these in other videos as i reading along but I think those are all my goals overall. I would say overall I am excited about this year, excited about a new year reading a clean slate and hopefully I will complete all of these goals but we'll see. I will do a check-in next year and yeah I hope this inspired you. If you want you can comment down below a reading goal you have for the new year or just any goal and I would love to see that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in another one soon.